It's fair to say this Australian radio argument in the early 2000s was one of the more interesting in our country's recent history. Normally these sort of disputes end up being trash for Women's Day magazines, but when Jay Wally from Friends or Rum spoke to Kyle and Jackie O on their radio show, it ended up causing quite a ripple effect in the Australian radio sphere and music industry. This all occurred in the early 2000s, when Australian Idol first boomed on our televisions, the Alternative Music Network instantly saw the program as a superficial song contest that leached onto the music industry. Friends or Rom, who are a very anti-establishment punk rock band, were playing a gig in Darwin that was supposed to be hosted by Jackie O, who at the time had just recently started hosting a radio show with shock jock Kyle Sanderlands. Though she was still mostly remembered for being part of Bardot, another product of a corporate television singing contest. When Jackie arrived late to the gig to introduce Frenzel, guitarist Lindsay McDougall began playing Thunderstruck to cut her off and Jay proceeded to express his distaste for singing shows on the mic. The event was reported in the media to a small degree as Jackie's radio program gave her a platform to air her grievances with the confrontation. Jay was then invited onto Kyle and Jackie O's show to discuss the incident, and here's what occurred. Okay, well, we got him on the phone now. Um, what's his name, right? Jay. Jay. Jay from Friends Rum. Hey, man. G'day, Kyle. G'day, Jackie. What the hell what happened? happened on the weekend? Well, what happened? Um, yeah, um, I guess uh, we were about to go on stage, and it was already running very late. Right. And, uh... Our crowds are notorious for um, not putting up with any sort of MCs, regardless of uh, who they are, um, coming up on stage. And I guess, um, from the best of my memory, which is quite clear because I'm a sober man these days, um, we were about to go on stage, we're already running very late, and we already had to cut a couple of songs from our set, of which we ended up having to cut about eight songs from our set, which um, must have pleased some people because, you know, quite frankly, we're not very good. But, um, uh, and then, um, yeah, I guess it was the Chief Minister of the Northern Territory came out on stage and um, started to say some things and was really being shouted down by the crowd. And then we were about to go on the next thing we know, completely unbeknownst to us, Jackie, come, you, you came out, Jackie, and um, started um, talking. And we just went, oh, Jesus, this is bullshit. We're supposed to be getting paid to play, so let's just go out and play. And so I guess uh, my friend Lindsay uh, started playing Thunderstruck by ACDC over um, where Jackie was saying, and then we came out, Jackie left the stage. Um, then Lindsay started saying some things uh, along the lines of uh, Jackie O, I uh, think there's, there's something, Jackie O, what the f or something like that. And I proceeded to say, uh, children, there's an explicit language content uh, within our group. Um, and I would just like to proceed by saying, pop stars, Australian Idol, f them, f a lot of them, they can all go and get fucked. And then I amended that a little later on um, by sort of talking about that uh, the um, you know the current um, climate in Australia, where original Australian bands are being pushed to one side for the sake of uh, these um, you know uh, cover artists, basically. Um, right. So but do you, you don't think that, that? Do you reckon what my problem was is that I got a call? Were, were you up there? No, I got a call during your first song right. from Jackie in the background yeah, crying, yeah. and I just thought. What, what what benefit is it to, like, go out and just slay oh, her? Oh, come on, Jackie. You're that precious that you can't take a bit of heckling? Well, I just think, like, the... the you crowd never done the stand-up circuit around town? No, that's not my thing, but I don't understand why am I going out there and then why are you saying, like, you know... But you, oh, thought, you saw the reaction of the crowd. The crowd was very hostile, and, and it wasn't just because it was you. It, was, it would have been anyone. They were just as hostile to the Chief Minister of the Northern Territory. And we've had shows where, in regional areas where, you know, we've had the uh, But the I didn't MC. have a problem with the crowd. What's that? Uh, there was no problem with the crowd. It was just you guys coming, like, and, and swearing and abusing. Well, I mean, the, 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 I guess the fact was that, I guess you were nine hours late to the show. You were supposed to be emceeing the whole show. Yeah, and as, it, turn, and, as yeah. it turned out, you, you ended up coming just before. And it was unfortunate. Did, did he, who, is did, that, who, who is that clown in the background? It's would, he like, Lindsay. would he like to speak rather than just yelling out? No, no, no. no. We're, we're just very passionate about the things that we believe in. Yeah, well, so am I. And I'm just saying that, like, it, like, 
your your songs ever played on this network or Triple M network so far is just not going to happen now. Well, no, the thing is, Carl, oh, but uh, have you ever played us on Australia ever before? Yes, is, is you cha- are you going to actually have to change your playlist not to play us? No, no. Like, if, you, if you ring up our record company, you people ring up our record company yeah. threatening to bury the band, saying yeah. that you're ne- we're never going to get played on Australia again. Yeah. What the hell are we supposed to think? I mean, you've never played us. Well, well Triple M, Triple M have, have never us. Have Triple you M? Don't support good original Australian music. Well, yeah, we do, but just do the same You're a mouthpiece for the corporate music industry. Oh, mate, you're we're not going to... You, you, you are just like a fucking idiot that sits in the background not, not trying oh, to get on the scene. Now who's... Look, I'm trying to have a reasonable conversation here. You don't have to, you don't have to, you know... Well, mate, I'm, I'm just... You're just so I lucky. I called Jackie an idiot. I never said anything disparaging, disparaging about her personally. Yeah, Jackie, I've never said anything disparaging about you personally. But you just said, come over the top of me and go, what the fuck, Jackie, oh, f- pop stars. That's a pretty, you know... It's just a joke. It's not. That's... Exactly, it's just a joke. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's a joke to have done it. Not a joke, not, not ha-ha funny, it's just stupid. I didn't think it was very funny either, but the fact is that we believe passionately about what's happening to the Australian music industry at the moment. We believe that people like you guys yeah. have, uh, you know, you're in this position where you can promote good new Australian talent and you don't. So, and well, mate, I you know what? On, a no festival, one. on a festival circuit such as that one, which we play constantly, yeah. and we've been doing so for 10 years, when we go out and we see these, these, these yeah, shows you've got to being, get over it. being infiltrated... You've got to get over people, it. What's that? You've got to get over it, because there's going to be different types of music for different sort of people. Right, and right. That's why you guys have been around for 10 years, because you appeal to a certain group of people. Otherwise, you'd be finished long ago. And so does Shannon Noll, and so do pop stars, and so everyone's got different tastes. Exactly. How is Bardo going these days? Well, they split up. Well, who cares exactly. about they're, 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 back, they're back working with in the same shoe shop that they were working in yeah, the, the day Look, before they joined Pop Who stars. cares, though? Who cares? We're not talking about Bardo. We're talking know, about... You know what I care about? I care about the fact that there are bands like you and I, good Australian bands that are being dropped from their labels right now because to make room for not only the Australian Idol winner, and when I know I'm not talking about pop stars right now, and it doesn't affect you directly, we're not just talking about the Australian Idol winner, which is full fair enough. We're talking about six of the losers that are now being signed to these major record companies to make it for, for what? Like for these completely short-term careers yep. so the record company can make a quick buck. I agree. That is, and they're not that being, these bands aren't being nurtured. I and, agree. And for us to get up on stage and say, pop star, f- them, f- a lot of it. I'll stand by that, and I don't think that that should be offensive. To I, don't, I don't care about Australian Idol or pop stars. I only care about Jackie and, and the embarrassment that she had at the hands of your band. Well, Jackie, I'm sure that you're tough enough to handle a little bit of heckling from time to time. I mean, everyone who gets Not on really. stage... You know, I've got to say, you know, I am actually... I should toughen up, but I can't, and I do take things and to... You know, I, I get quite offended by it and, and upset. So I can't help the fact that you, you really offended me. I know I should toughen up in this industry, but I can't. It does... It's, you know, it's pretty hurtful, that's all. Well, I'm very sorry if you felt hurt, Jackie. It wasn't intended to make you personally feel uh, in any way uncomfortable up there on stage. Um, we were up there um, to do our show. This is what we do. Um, we basically, you know, there's, there's uh, I can't see very many people that are championing the cause of, of uh, young Australian bands. That are by the way, Dan, but what, be, but before you go any far, not once ever in my 15-year radio history has anyone ever put any CD from your band in front of me and said, hey, how about playing these guys or how about speaking to these guys? It's exactly. Just, it's Why just, would you? But, but it's, just, it's just never happened. So, so what, what's your point, sorry? Well, someone, whoever, whoever's looking after you isn't putting your stuff in front of the right people. Screw the major record. No, 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 no. I think, I think that you are the wrong people because you, you're not going to be playing our music anyway. Well, you're, not gonna, you you're not going to... You're not going to... If you have ever listened to any of our records, most of it's completely radio-proof. Yeah, well, no, that's, there's no such thing anymore. As radio-proof? Yeah. Oh, I'll be the judge, I think. You'll be the judge. <laughs> there's a, yeah, there's a few things that, you know, that no radio station will play. Yeah, well, no doubt there is, but you've got to have something that someone would. But that's basic, all I'm saying. Basic, I'm just, no, no, basically, I mean, what, are you saying that, that without your support, the bands no, can't no. have a career in this country? No, no, I'm not. I'm just saying, don't go, don't, don't pick fights with, with, with people that are like a female in the Northern Territory. Oh, come just, on. Just to don't bring gender into it, mate. That's what you're it's doing, mate. Oh, come it on. Was an, it was, that you know let me tell you, okay. Nothing to do with let, the fact that she's female. Just let come me say, on. if it was me up there, it would have been on for young and old from the start. Oh, okay, okay. Now, for a start, I'd just like to say, Jackie, at the after show party of the Discovery, were, were you... During the show, were you aware that one of your security guards 
threatened our guitar tech with the threat of violence, as you're doing now, Kyle. It would have been on for young and old, as yeah. you say. Yeah. Did you, did you know about that? That the, the security guard yeah. um, came up and threatened us with with actual violence. Like, do you endorse that? What? what yes, what well, I do. Well, you do. You endorse that. You would have come and punched on because we said something about pop stars and Australian Idol. No, no because you felt you felt like somehow that, that, that somehow um, we we defended you um, by or not giving you enough time to speak up. You were nine hours late for your show. Well, it's and then a chance to say something. Like okay. it's so rude to just come in say. F- Start hey, that video hey, and, and, and you know, play the guitar over me. You, I was only going to talk for like 10 seconds, seriously. And we're so going to talk about rudeness. Can you please just explain why your people are bringing up our record company telling you, telling us that you're going to bury our band? We're not going to bury your band. never get played on stereo but, again? But yeah, probably won't get played. It never did get played. It got played on Triple M. That's because it, it was pretty much It got played at bloody midnight so they can fulfill their Australian content. It's bullshit. Mate, like, you are so bitter, you might as well just take a new I'm career path. <laughs> You're okay, sad. Okay, You're sad. Okay, See you later. Goodbye. Man, what a cock. Ironically, Jay and Lindsay went on to discuss this event further with the then Australian Idol hosts, Andrew G and James Matheson on Channel V, as they worked for both that network and Channel 10. Furthermore, Kyle Sandilance would go on to host Australian Idol, replacing Ian Dicko Dixon after he departed. Post this radio stoush, Jay and Lindsay from the band were given opportunities to host a show on the alternative Australian radio station Triple J under the name Jay and the Doctor. They eventually worked their way to becoming breakfast show hosts and the Doctor, or Lindsay, ventured to host on different segments of the day for many years after. Interestingly, this story has come full circle in a few roundabout ways though, when Triple J started playing former Australian Idol contestants on their station most notably Matt Corby and Lisa Mitchell, who both charted high in Hottest 100s and continue to receive airplay to this day. And now in 2023, a rebooted version of Australian Idol is on TV again, and a recent Triple J success story, Amy Shark, is a host on the show, alongside Kyle Sandilands. There evidently seems to have been a cooling off between the alternative and pop communities in recent years, and we see them coming together more and more. This story is great evidence of that. 